The Crime Watch, we are learning more about the circumstances around a deadly shooting in Watsonville last night. It happened on Lawrence Avenue near Green Valley Road just before 8 o'clock. Police say there was an attempted armed robbery targeting an illegal marijuana operation inside a house there. We get more from Action News reporter Bianca Beltran. This neighborhood came to a standstill as police worked around the clock combing through the crime scene. A 32-year-old man shot dead on the sidewalk. When police responded, they learned the shooting happened after an attempted armed robbery and found signs of other criminal activity. It appears to us that there was some type of unpermitted um, dispensary type uh, operation being run at the home where this all happened. State investigators are helping process this complex crime scene. There are more than two dozen pieces of evidence in the road alone, including large amounts of marijuana. Officers took three people into custody, including a man who took off on foot and tried to escape through a nearby middle school. During the foot chase, one of our officers uh, was very close to the suspect and the suspect actually turned and, and uh, pointed a gun at him. That officer was able to disarm the suspect quickly and the suspect was taken into custody with the use of a taser and a police canine. Back on Lawrence Avenue, a neighbor says he tried to help the man who was shot. He spoke to us on the condition that we would not show his face for fear of retaliation. The other guy was laying there motionless on the ground and I ran up to him and I checked for a pulse. And I didn't feel one in his neck, but there was blood everywhere. He says while most people figured something was going on at that house, they never expected violence like this. I feel terrible for the family of the guy that died. Like, who, who knows, maybe they're good people. I mean, he was just in a bad situation. He went the wrong people. Police served a search warrant on a house related to the case and say there may have been others involved. Reporting in Watsonville, Bianca Beltran, KSBW, Action News 8.